Hello students. Today we are going to study geography. Our first topic today is local time and standard time. Before we start with the lesson, let us see some of the activities that we do throughout the day. We get up early in the morning, brush our teeth, take a bath, have a breakfast and go to school. Then we study in our classrooms. In the afternoon we return home we go to the playground and play in the evening we have our dinner brush our teeth and go to sleep at night we keep doing similar activities throughout the day considering our daily routine now what people would do in the olden days to measure time in the olden times they divided a day into two parts from sunrise to sunset they called it daytime and from sunset to the next sunrise it was called night time a whole day meant the duration from one sunrise to the next earlier natural events and measurement instruments like ghatika patra you can see in the diagram a bowl with a minute hole at its base which would float in a large water filled vessel you can see in this picture they even had sand timer that used to tell them time as you know earth takes 24 hours that is one day to complete one rotation we consider the direction where the sun rises to be east thus earth rotates from west to east as a result we experience sunrise noon sunset and midnight during rotation the longitudes in the western east experiences darkness and the opposite side experiences sunrise let us take one example of a moving bus When we are traveling in a moving bus we often see that the trees electric poles buildings outside the window appear to be moving in the opposite direction actually this all objects do not move it is the bus which is moving forward all the objects the trees the electric poles buildings etc are as it is they are stationary similarly it is not the sun that is moving the sun is in the stationary position it is the earth which rotates around the sun it is the earth that keeps the rotation and we feel that the sun is changing its position from east to west daily have you ever observed that the shadows keep changing its length in the early morning and the evening were the longest and in the noon you see the shortest shadow as if you are standing you can see the shadow only near your legs and where else in the morning and in the evening you can see your shadow falling far this happens because of the change in the apparent location of the sun in the sky the length of our shadow just keeps changing in the diagram you can see that the specific part of the earth faces the sun during rotation and moves forward you be also experience that the morning and evening are cooler and the afternoon is warmer that is because the direct perpendicular rays of the sun falls on the earth in the earlier classes we have seen what graticule is graticule means a combination of longitudes and latitudes now the latitudes are the sleeping lines so equator you can see in the diagram and longitudes are the standing line so as we have equator which cuts the earth into two parts we have in longitude green which mean time or green which is a place in london 
This longitude helps us to determine the local time across the globe. The noon time is same at any given longitude across the earth. That is, from the North Pole to the South Pole, in any particular longitude, you will experience the same noon time. And this helps us to decide the local time of that particular place. Have you noticed that nowadays or in summer, the days are longer and winters, it is shorter? This is because of the Earth's axis. Similarly, near, near the poles, sometimes there can be days of more than 24 hours. The duration of day at the poles even lasts up to 6 months. Different longitudes have different timings for sunrise, noon and sunset. When it is noon at Mumbai, it wouldn't be same at Calcutta. You can see that from east to west, there is a wide range of longitude in our country. The local time of a place on the earth's surface is determined with reference to the noon time. This implies that places lying on the same longitude have same local time. So when it is 8 o'clock in Calcutta, in Mumbai, it might be 7 o'clock. So, there is one hour difference because of the longitudes. There is a difference of 4 minutes in every 1 degree of the longitude. So, 2 longitudes will have a difference of 4 minutes. We shall see how to calculate local time with reference to prime meridian with the help of examples and sums in the next video.